All right, let's talk Brock Purdy of the 49ers gets another win here. Purdy, uh, you know, uh, I think had a, maybe not the most eventful game, definitely was able to make some plays in a dominant win over the Jets. So, you know, like most Brock Purdy videos I make, it's going to be partially Brock Purdy, partially the offense. Purdy did some really nice stuff. Uh, he did have some negatives that we'll get into. So yeah, let's just get into it. Let's start off with this play. What's going to happen here is we saw a couple of the classic 49ers Brock Purdy plays, right? Of Definitely not the highest degree of difficulty plays, but really good offensive plays as a whole. What's going to happen is you have a receiver all the way towards the bottom of the screen running a deep shot hopefully to push the safety on that side of the field further deep. And you have a receiver, Juwan Jennings, running from the offense's left to the offense's right. Hopefully can get into a gap in coverage here. Purdy is going to take the snap. He looks over in that direction. It's not really picked up here by the Jets. Really well timed by Purdy. Again, I paused it right here. You can see how it's kind of in between those two Jets players. Definitely Purdy times these very well, but also like I mean, it's an easy throw. It is. Purdy gets it there, and they convert a second down and 19. Juwan Jennings, good stuff. This is definitely what the 49ers can do, right? There's no denying it, but, you know, I mean, you got to give Purdy some credit for hitting the layups, and also, it's just, it's the offense as a whole. This is how they nearly won the Super Bowl last year, is getting these types of plays. Like, this one's another one. It's a first down and 10. It's going to be a zone coverage concept, and what's going to happen is, again, you have a receiver running a deep shot, trying to push the corner further deep. Then it's going to be George Kittle, lined up as uh, in line as a tight end on this one, is going to eventually get towards the sideline. Watch how when this play begins, you see Purdy's going to look in that direction. He fires in that direction, and right here, once again, Kittle's just as open as it gets, isn't he? I mean, it, it, this is pretty great stuff by San Francisco. Of course, Purdy isn't going to, you know, miss that throw. This is definitely what they can do. And it's kind of crazy that even a defense that we look at and think, yeah, yeah, the Jets should be pretty good. I know they lost Sauce Gardner, but still, uh, the fact that they can just still scheme this type of stuff up, it's it's really crazy. I mean, this is Kyle Shanahan. And also, you got to give the players credit for being able to make this stuff work. But I want to talk about Purdy a little bit as well, not just the offense, because, I mean, it's so hard to separate just any quarterback from their offense, right? Obviously, they can only go when their offense goes, but you can still do some nice stuff, like, and you can, you're part of the offense as a quarterback, obviously. Something like this, it's a third down and three. You have three receivers running different lengths down the field. A deep shot, kind of a more over the middle, and then a more underneath route. When this play begins, the deep shot and the more over the middle one are taken up by the uh, players who are covering in that on that side of the field, meaning that right here, a Jets linebacker has to pick up the halfback, and this Jets linebacker isn't supposed to be outside the numbers. He just has to pick it up. So because of this, there's just enough time. Purdy reads this play very well, and they're able to get a completion right there for a first down. Again, this is good stuff by Brock Purdy. This is, you know, fast decision-making. Like, this stuff is important. And, uh, you know, obviously these plays aren't the most flashy, but they're not the easiest to do, and he makes them look easy. So definitely Purdy is capable of making some impressive plays. Also, this one was a really good one. Everyone always talks about, oh, the receivers always make things easier on Brock Purdy. Well, here's an example of the other side of the coin. What's going to happen is you have Brandon Ayuk, the highly paid guy, running a deep shot towards the corner of the end zone right here. Definitely a route that could work against this coverage, especially because it's Brandon Ayuk. Purdy takes a snap. He's going to end up getting clobbered as he makes this throw, but nonetheless, he gets the ball down there. This is not really that open. This is going to have to take a perfect throw and a nice catch for this to be complete, and they get one of those. Purdy, I mean, right on the money. Ayuk can't quite make bring it in. It's it's not a bad play by Ayuk. It's a tough catch. It's also one you expect him to make, though, so uh, unfortunate break by San Francisco, but man, that is a great throw from Brock Purdy, so you can sit here and say, well, he's hitting the open guy. Well, he's also hitting the guys when they're not that open, too. So it's hard to put too much uh, criticism on him. Heading over here, it's going to be a second down and eight. And to be honest, Purdy had a rough series on this one. Like, this was a bad drive. I don't know what happened. It seemed like he just, you know, all of a sudden started struggling. Where he's going to make a few mistakes in a row. First, this play. You see Brock Purdy takes the snap. He's going to try and hit Juszczyk. And Juszczyk had stopped beforehand. Like, I don't know why that throw was that wild. I don't know if uh, he was, I mean, I can't imagine it was a throwaway because it was further down the field. They could have gotten five yards. Uh, I think he just, he one got away from him. Maybe he didn't grip the ball the way he wanted or something. But yeah, that was, that was a bad play. 
Then on the very next play, this one happened where Kittle's going to get pretty open down the field and Purdy kind of rushes his throwing motion, ends up throwing it too short. Definitely could have been a, uh, a first down there as well. Troy Aikman on the broadcast said it could have been like a, you know, it could have gotten a lot more yards after the catch. I don't know about that, but definitely was a missed throw by Purdy. Luckily for him, uh, there was a penalty that allowed the 49ers drive to continue. But even then, he threw this one on a third down and two, where it's, you know, a one-on-one matchup. His receiver was open, but he threw it too much air under it. Safety nearly came in and intercepted it. So, Purdy, a uh, rough few plays there. Not a great sequence, I think it's fair to say. Moving over to this play, I actually thought this was a really good play by Brock Purdy, even though it's it's probably not going to be one that makes any highlight reels, certainly. In fact, it's a negative play, uh, so not to sound too much like one of those commentators that always gives uh, a player too much credit for you know anything, but I thought this was a good job. So just to set the stage, because the clock isn't on the screen right here, there's five minutes left. The 49ers are up 16 points, so you're pretty much good like you're in field goal range as is it is a third and two so obviously you'd love to kill another couple minutes however when he takes the snap and runs to play action um you know starts to roll outside the pocket doesn't love what he sees and rightfully so I mean nothing is open and on top of this there is pressure and I think we kind of forget because Purdy has been to a Super Bowl because he's had you know MVP uh consideration we kind of forget how young he is I do think there are a lot of young quarterbacks in this league that maybe try to make a throw or just try to step up, try to scramble and make something happen. And you can see there is pressure right here. So had he tried to do that, that would be a very bad idea. But this is the value of Brock Purdy, right? Is he might not be the guy who makes these superstar level plays, but he's the one who makes the right plays. And that makes him better than a lot of quarterbacks who can make a superstar play, but then will make a bad one. As you see, Purdy just goes down. He just takes the sack. And like, there's a lot of value in a guy who's not afraid to just hit the deck sometimes. How many times did we see Tom Brady over the course of his career just say, okay, you know, I'm going to go down. This is the right play right here. You know, again, it's not about making highlight real level play after highlight real level play. I thought he made some good plays in this one. You do have to clean up that, you know, couple missed throws in a turnover worthy play. That's something that he's going to have to stop doing. Like, absolutely. But the good plays were there. The solid plays were there. The good offensive plays were certainly there for Purdy. So like as a whole, I really do have mostly positive takeaways from this performance. Again, we know who Brock Brock Purdy is at this point. He's a good quarterback, uh, and he played like a good quarterback in this one. So, yeah, those are kind of my thoughts on Purdy and how he played here on opening night for the 49ers. Very good, very good win to be able to carve up a you know good defense. At least we thought a good defense. Those are my thoughts. What are yours? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from y'all, and of course, as always, thanks for watching.